A lot of people in Adelaide think this is our best statue. I think I'm one of them. It's very much about action, isn't it? A soldier on a horse. But what's its name? Well, I call it the Boar War Memorial, and there's some good evidence for that. There is still a National Boar War Memorial Association to this very day. When it was first erected for the troops who had headed off in 1900, it was known simply as the Soldiers War Memorial. In the 1930s, it became known as the South African War Memorial because, of course, that's where they went. And that was partly to distinguish it from the new National War Memorial down the road, which was all about the First World War. By 1915, our troops from all around South Australia were at war. They had left here in 1914 and by 1915, of course, to their surprise, they were in Turkey fighting. They were on the slopes of Gallipoli above Anzac Cove and the news of the terrible losses was coming through to people back here. They needed a way of expressing their grief and their support. So the first Violet Day was held here in July at this war memorial. The Governor, Sir Henry Galway, spoke of violence and remembrance and of recognising the sacrifice of our troops to the Empire. It was no longer a gallant few who had fallen in South Africa. The community was hearing about hundreds of dead, thousands of men fallen. And so Violet Day, the first Violet Day, as a newspaper of the day shows, was about remembrance and about women, 100 women indeed, dressed in white around the city of Adelaide, selling posies of violets. Remembrance and also raising money for the troops who would be coming back. My grandfather was one of them. He'd been on the beach on April 25th, 1915. He ended up in Shrapnel Gully and he was shot. Now, fortunately, he was brought back to Adelaide. He was amongst the first to return. If you know more about Violet Day, if you have a story, we'd love you to put it on the website.